All that video game playing that I did as a kid, man, it could have paid off big time. It's paying off big time for some. There's some real money to be had. What's considered a booming industry, Jason? Gosh, if I could have gotten paid for all the hours I devoted <laughs> to television and Atari. <laughs> Wasted. <laughs> Wasted time. <laughs> The NBA Finals may be underway, but it's not the only way basketball is being played professionally in the U.S. Some of the pros never leave the comfort of their chairs. Huh? This is increasingly becoming a more viable career path by the minutes. With the first pick. That's NBA Commissioner Adam Silver announcing the first pick in the draft, but for a video game. Well, scratch that, for a career. 28, 12, and 10. You're welcome, LeBron. Austin Boo Painter worked at the State Department until he didn't. I started telling people at work, I was like, well, guys, I put my two weeks in, and they're like, wait, where are you going? You got like another federal job or something? I was like, uh, no, I'm going to go play 2K for a living. And you can see how. He's making between thirty dollars and $35,000 for six months. He gets his housing taken care of, all playing for the Washington Wizards' newest NBA edition, the video game NBA 2K. And he's not the only one turning what many consider a hobby into a viable career. One professional gamer tells us they make $500,000 a month playing the hit game Fortnite. One of the biggest video game tournaments had a prize pool of $24 million. By comparison, the winner of the Masters earns about $11 million. For the younger audience, this is their this is their afternoon cartoons. This is their you know uh, Nick at Night, right? This is what they're tuning in for. Kevin Lynn is the co-founder of Twitch. The popular streaming site has helped turn ordinary basement gamers into bona fide celebrities. We've always played games, but it, as part of our industry, we were really not encouraged to talk about it. It wasn't cool. Also done. But it's turned into just the opposite. Lynn says, on average, millions of people are tuning in for more than two hours a day with popular streamers making money off of ads, subscriptions, and even merchandise. It's a prospect that is appealing in dorm rooms across America. At the University of Maryland, Joel Yu runs an organization of gamers who represent the school in tournaments nationwide, and he says, they've collectively earned tens of thousands of dollars doing just that. This is kind of the shoot for fame. People are aspiring to be the best basketball player. People aspire to be the best soccer player. People are not trying to be the best esports players of today. Crazy to think professional gamers could soon earn as much as professional athletes. Who knows, they may even have their own jerseys. <laughs> so over the next few years, the video game industry is only expected to grow with a global market value set to surpass $180 billion by 2021. There's even a subreddit devoted to people, uh, gamers, showing off their, their stations, their battle stations. Wow, that's Where they have a computer screen here, a computer screen here, and a computer screen here, and then their desk, and they've got all their gear right here on the it's wall. It's fascinating what a career you can make out of it. It still seems like as a parent, if your child said, this is what I want to do. You're like, uh, you better go to school and get that degree, <laughs> but be, now. They have the proof to show it can be a very lucrative career. Absolutely. Wow.